Hello and welcome to a short video that explains how to update the firmware uh, for the Sunvar compatible uh, 428-way restrictor plate. Uh, this uh, is switchable by the utilization of an Arduino microcontroller and updating the firmware basically means uh, that uh, there are improvements provided and actually there's already a version 1.1 which has an improvement for the holding torque of the restrictor gate. So it has a natural uh, uh, holding torque by the friction and the tightness of the construction. But nevertheless, uh, the firmware update that is available now uh, gives additional holding torque by powering the servo motors on top. And it's basically like it's uh, as they are locked in place. Uh, and this gives a real improvement for the game experience. So, said that, the question is how you get uh, these firmware installed. It's quite easy. The there's an, an loading utility together with the firmware that uh, eases the process for you. And I ex explain with this video how you can uh, make this work for you. So, for the ease of installation and providing the setup, I uploaded this as a file to the Thingiverse page. I will share the link with you. Uh, once you're there, you go to the files section. And within the file section, there is an entry which call, uh, is called TOS Loader Setup Zip. You download this. It's uh, packaged in a zip file. So you need to open it up. And uh, typically, when we try to start an executable that had its origin in the internet, uh, then Windows gives you a warning like that. Uh, it basically says uh, that this can have potential. Uh, um, security risks, maybe there's a virus or whatever in it, uh, and sh you should be careful. Uh, so my recommendation is uh, whenever you load, download some execu executable from the internet that you use an, an actual updated virus scanner to make sure that nothing wrong is with that. And in this particular case, uh, of course, I'm, I'm no, I'm sure that it's okay. So I click here on additional information and I have now here a uh, button that says uh, execute it anyway. I do so. So I start the setup wizard. It's a standard installation utility like you have most likely used before for other applications. There are a couple of presets that we'd like to confirm just by clicking on the next and another one next. This is just a short summary about settings that we uh, chosen and now we click on install. And the application gets properly installed on your machine. There's uh, at the final step and, and check mark which is checked and you should keep it like that because this means that the application is uh, started instantly after we finish the installation process and then this dialogue uh, starts up and with this dialogue we really are now able to upload a new firmware file to the Arduino microcontroller. Of course, this requires that the Arduino is connected previously to that machine where we execute this code. So make sure before you start that uh, the Arduino is connected via, via, via a micro USB cable to that machine. Uh, there are a couple of settings that we need to define uh, that the upload can work. Uh, it's basically the firmware file, uh, the device type and the COM port. When we click here on the browse button, then uh, the, the open dialog pops up at the working directory of this test loader application and it comes uh, already with the actual update. It's in version 1.1. 1 1, 1 .1. We select that. Next setting is the selection of the Arduino type. Arduino is not, not just one flavor. There are a couple of different versions with uh, different properties, different chipsets whatsoever. So we need to make sure that we define the right one, which is the Leonardo, the very first one in the list. Based on the selection, a couple of parameters are derived automatically. We don't need to take care for that. And the last setting is the COM port where the Arduino has connected to. And this is assigned dynamically from your machine. Uh, typically, it's, uh, if the Arduino was the last device that was connected to your machine, it's most likely the highest port. So we select that. And that's basically everything that needs to be done to prepare the upload. So now we can click on the OK button. And while the upload performs, uh, if you have a look on the Arduino microcontroller, you will see a couple of red LEDs flashing. And while we're talking, the upload was already uh, done. 
and we get a reasonable feedback here about the upload process with a lot of technical details that we don't really need to understand. But if we scroll down to the list, the most important thing that we can find is that the verification was successfully. Verification in this uh, means that it's not just uploaded and, and done. Be after the upload, uh, the, the loader uh, makes a download again and compares the, the uploaded, downloaded content with the original file to make sure that uh, there were no issues that uh, somehow messed up. So, uh, we have now the confirmation, everything works fine, and uh, that's everything we need to do to upload and update the firmware for this uh, Samba compatible 4 to 8 way restrictor gate. Hope this information was helpful. Leave me a comment uh, if you like, and uh, contact me if there are any more questions about that. Thanks and bye.